YouTube. What's going on, guys? Uh, today we're gonna get a little. Uh, just, my name is Trey. <laughs> what can I change? So I was just reading this whole article on um, the mortality of deleting yourself as a transgender because they make it seem like it's, a, it's such a high rate. And uh, we were just going over this study. I'll let you see just a little bit of a glimpse of what I was looking at. So here's what I was reading. Um, you can see right here on table three, the mortality rate among 3,759 individuals between 1980 and 2021. The overall, that means the people who actually succeeded, was 12. Um, out of the 3,759 in the attempts were 92 out of the 369. So when you do that um, statistic, I want to read the whole article. You can, you can do it. You're welcome to. But that's roughly around 0.3% on both. Roughly. Did I put that right? Oh, pardon. I did not. Uh, hold on. Ah, shoot. Yeah, give me a second to take a look at it. 2%. So among the attempts amongst these people is 2%, and the actual um, successful deletion is at 0.3%. So let's go back to this. The largest study of transgender deleting ever, okay, 3,700 individuals tracked over 50 years in Denmark, 12 deaths um, by deleting yourself. Okay? Conclusion. Death by deleting is extremely rare for transgender individuals. Native females who identify as transgender don't at all. So you can see that here when you're looking at this table three. So you see right here? So the guys who were assigned uh, sex at birth, right? Male. Oh, man, it's so small for y'all. But this says male, 12, right? You get that's the 12. And for females, it was zero. So as much as people want to say that, that if you don't, it's better to, you, it's the famous line. It's better to have a live son than have a, a dead daughter. Or in reverse, it's better to have a live daughter than a dead son. Right? But when you're looking at the statistic, when you read the chart in the largest study done, none of the females took their lives, and only 12 out of the 3,700 men did it. And even when you take out the attempts at 92, that's 2 percent, 2 percent, and then 0.3 percent actually succeeded. My point is, the fact that we are pushing this so hard to say that we need to have these kids and have these people change their lives forever because it will drastically change our lives and it's going to make everything better because they're committing and taking their lives at such a high rate. It's just a flat lie. Like even amongst themselves, like if we just took all the transgenders, they even then it's a small percentage at 0.3 percentage that actually do it, that actually succeed and only 2% actually even start to do more than one attempt. It's just like wild. Why? Like, and I want to ask you people who are for this, if you care to comment, why do you want it to be true? Why do you want it to be true that people take their lives if they don't transition? Please tell me, why do you want that to be true? Like, why are you fighting so hard for that to be true? Like, does it, does, it, does it validate you? Does it make you feel better about yourself? Do you feel like, oh, yeah, I can do this in life? Like, just please, like, why do you feel like you have to do this to the children? Why do you want it to be true that they do take their lives at a 90% clip or at 70% clip, 50, 40, 30, 10? It's only at 2% at the largest study ever done. And that's actual numbers that we can actually go off of because the other numbers that people just spew, they're like, no, these people are doing it. They just say it just to get you some narrative. And I just don't understand. What is the concept behind it? Like, why do you want that? It's so sad. It truly is so sad that we want kids to be taking their lives that they don't transition. It's like they fight for it. Like, no, they are taking their lives. We, we want that. Why do you want that to be true? Wouldn't you be much happier to know that they don't take their lives at a higher rate? Like, that is a good thing. That is saying that you can get through it. You can get past this. That's positive. 
but y'all want it to be true that they don't get past it and they just take their lives the second they feel like they want to be another gender because they got on TikTok one day and saw all these people manipulating them. You want it to be true that the second they feel like they need to be a boy or be a girl, they immediately take their lives. Why do you want that to be such a high rate? Why do you want that so bad? I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Even from as logical as a standpoint as I can even think, like as logically as I can think, I cannot see why you want kids taking their lives. Like that sounds evil to me. It just sounds bad and terrible. That's a sad thing to hear. I would never go around and be like, no, no, kids are taking their lives because I want them to. I want them to take their lives. If you don't become boy or girl, I want you to take your life. It's just like, it's almost what it sounds like. I know that's not exactly what they're trying to say, but it's like they fight for this false narrative just to prove a point of changing a kid's life forever. When we all know that if a person changes their gender, I mean, change, yeah, if a person goes to transitions and they use these surgeries, they feel more miserable and more depressed than ever. But y'all want that? Why? Do you hate... I hate saying this, but it's, I'm just giving my opinion. Do you hate people that much? Do you hate yourself that much? Where if you feel like if somebody does not pay money to change their life forever, that will have them paying money for the rest of their life and have them more depressed than ever and sadder than ever and make them want to take their lives more than ever. You think that that is more important? You think that it's more important for you to just be right? Just to say, I told you so? You want it to be right that bad that you don't even care about the people? And this is what I continue to say. <sighs> the LGBT. Okay? Yeah, I'm not doing all the extra letters. I'm sorry. The LGBT, much as they want to say they're a love group, I don't think anybody can even put themselves in there anymore. I'm talking about the gays against groomers, the other people who are against us. I think the LGBT, even if you say you're a part of it and it's about love, I just, th that is not what it is anymore. I say that whole group has to just be disbanded, not even looked upon as a group that we should even support, or it needs to go so deep into hiding or so deep into the places that where we never see this stuff again why because what the lgbt has turned into and i'm sorry if you are part of this group and you feel like it was never about supposed to be about this it is what it is now the lgbt to me has become a place of not necessarily there is a lot of debauchery and sex that comes into it but not just that the lgbt has become a place of dangerous validation it's a place where people want to go and this is what it's turned into this is the place where people want to go to be validated for anything they believe that's why you got people who want to go after minors want to attach themselves to this group because the lgbt is supposed to be a place of just validating you love is love that used to be the motto right and that's where people want to go to and so people are now pushing this group to be just a place of dangerous validation to the point where we want to go after children to have surgeries, knowing that it's not really going to improve their lives. And they want to give, keep giving this false narrative that they're taking their lives at such a high rate when it's in the biggest, biggest study we've seen to date. It's that 2% of those who even attempt to do it. And the ones who succeeded, it's at 0.3%. And if you break that down over the 50 year study, that's one person taking their life every four years. Four years. There are people more likely to take their lives who are not in that boat. The number was higher. In fact, let me, let me see what it was at before we continue. 36 380. Let's just do that. Uh, six. Mm -hmm. I don't want to misspeak. Point five percent. So of the people who were not dealing with transgender in this study. They took their lives at a 0.2% higher rate. 
So you're more likely to take your life when you're not transgender. So why aren't we fighting for those kind of people? Even though that's, even though out of this study, that was only at 0.5%. I'm just, I'm just over it, man. I'm not going to quit fighting for this, but I'm over even trying to give them any lead way or being like, well, maybe I'm just tired of the lies. It's an absolute lie that they're trying to destroy children and destroy the people in our lives. And I'm over it. Are you over it? Let's start protecting people and loving people like they're supposed to be loved. Let's quit lying to people. Because that's not love. That's hate. That's selfishness. That's pride. Pride. That's ego. And it's only hurting our people. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm gone. Peace.